other one, but it's going to be tough with that size to submit a regular place, but he's been very promising. So we're about 14 seconds away from this siren, the Melbourne Premiership, and a free kick to the man we're speaking of, Doyle. He was pushed in the back, so he may have the last kick of the afternoon. If, in fact, he decides to kick, he does. He swings it out wide. Campbell comes on a lead, drops the mark. Dyson's got the ball. He kicks it away on the siren, and Melbourne win. Fourth time lucky for them after three consecutive defeats. They win the State League Grand Final 13 12 90 to 7 14 56. And a good result there for Peter Russo in his first year as the reserves coach at Melbourne. He gets a premiership. And with that win, he definitely put his hand up for the uh, Hawthorne senior coaching job, you'd reckon. Now, down on the boundary or on the field of play, we have an interview. Here's Pete. Well, Melbourne champion, Graham Yates, number eight. Congratulations, Graham. Yeah, thanks, Pete. Terrific effort. Got a bit tired towards the end, but uh, the boys stuck it out and we won, which is good. Well, you jumped them early with good forward play and you are belting it down. And what happened the last three terms? Did you relax a bit? I don't know. I think they put a bit more pressure on us and uh, I think we may be tired a bit. We had the week off and maybe we relaxed and we thought we had the game won and uh, we didn't go on with it. But luckily we sort of just hung in there and uh, fell in by a couple of goals. Rod Keogh and Kevin Dyson dominated around midfield. Yeah, they've done that all year. It's a pity they didn't get more opportunities than the seniors, but uh, they played very well. They attacked the ball hard and they deliver it perfectly. Now your own future, uh, you're staying at Melbourne or are you keen to play senior football regularly with another club? Or? I'd just like to play senior footy wherever I can get a game, I'm happy to do that. And your coach, Peter Russo, he's been touted as a Hawthorne coach. Uh, impressive? Yeah, well, I, all year, I mean, he's been a terrific coach. He's, he's a great motivator and he encourages all the players. He's not negative at all and uh, he's a very positive coach. So if he does go on, I'm sure he'll do well. Not going to have a beer tonight, are you, Yachty? Oh, I think I might have a Jim Beam, mate, I think. <laughs> Congratulations, anyway. Graham Yates, a veteran at Melbourne. He's played 157 senior games, and he adds a reserves premiership to that list of achievements here today. And they look very pleased, don't they? Look at some of those young faces. Now, some have been around a while. You can see Darren Bennett over on the right-hand side. Well, Drew, uh, I think a few players there would have probably been, had their last chance of playing a premiership side too. I don't know whether Darren Bennett will go on next year. There's been talk that he'll retire. But at their fourth try, they've lost their last three grand finals. And well done to the Demons. They thoroughly deserve that. Set it up beautifully in that first quarter. And as uh, Peter McKenna and Graham Yates said, they certainly uh, they won it with Dyson and Keogh, their dominant midfielders. But uh, Greg Doyle did well in the ruck. Uh, Bennett and Cuthbertson early in that game, especially in that first quarter, dominated proceedings. And a thoroughly uh, well-deserved victory there to the Demons. The 1993 Reserves Premiership, or VSFL Premiership, going to the Melbourne side. Yes, yeah, Sullivan, a good player for them as well. And we, we discussed the situation with developing key forwards as we go back down on the ground. Uh, Darren Barrett, Bennett, congratulations, Darren. Uh, great start, and the ball was being belted down to your time and again, and uh, probably the last three quarters slowed up a bit. Yeah, I think uh, it was a pretty ferocious start to the game by us. You know, we uh, we attacked the ball very well, and um, it sort of, I think, caught North off their guard. But uh, to their credit, they came back in the second and third and last quarters and really, uh, you know, made it very tough for us. And as the scoreboard shows, we didn't really get that much further away from them. So... Um, it's uh, all the best to them, but uh, congratulations to our boys for the win. A couple of your bigger fellas, Goodwin and uh, Doyle did particularly well. Yeah, oh, they played very well, you know, they were sort of rocket Gibraltar across uh, the half-back line, and, um, you know, that's what you need in grand finals, a bit of uh, toughness across the half-back line, and the running players, I thought, did a fantastic job to get the ball down to us, especially in the first quarter when things were pretty hard, and uh, it's just a credit to them, you know, they've, they've been runners up three times in a row, and... There was a lot riding on this, you know, for a lot of the players, especially with the draft this year, you know, so uh, I think the young blokes, to their credit, have played really well. Now, the big uh, $64 question, the future of Darren Bennett. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'm probably going to give it away and uh, have a look at uh, maybe coaching somewhere and having a kick somewhere for the next couple of years, but uh, it's just great to play with a bunch of kids like this, you know. They come out and they, you sort of run out on the MCG and you've been doing it for five years and you think, well, it's, you know, still a great stadium to play at. And then you run out beside someone like uh, Brett Evans or Brad Campbell and their mouths just open when they run out in the ground. And that sort of lifts you up and gives you a bit of drive, you know. Well, congratulations on your fine career with Melbourne, Darren. 
Thanks, Peter. Darren Bennett there with Peter McKenna, and there's the final score in the Reserves Grand Final. The Demons, 13-12-90, defeated the Kangaroos, 7-14-56. <laughs> My husband didn't think we had enough room in the kitchen. MCG filling up for the seniors grand final between Essendon and Carlton. But in the meantime, in the Victorian State Football League, or the reserves as it was known, Melbourne have broken a three-year losing streak and have finally won a grand final, beating North Melbourne in the grand final. And the presentation is about to start. Ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls, what a great win by the Demons. And now for the presentation of the Premiership Cup, we call upon the General Manager of the Victorian State Football League, Mr Ken Gannon, to present the Premiership Cup to the captain of Melbourne, Greg Healy. Thank you, Michael. This game always sets the scene for a great AFL Grand Final. So on behalf of the Victorian State Football League, I'd like to invite Greg Healy, the captain of the Melbourne Football Club, to come forward to receive the Premiership Trophy. Do you want to get Peter Russo up here, the coach? Where are you, Pete? Let's hear it for the coach. Would you like to say a few words? Greg Healy, believe it or not, is reluctant to say a few words. I can't believe it. Go on, you want to say something? All right, I'd just like to say well done to all the boys. It was a great effort. Been the better side all year and uh, I think we deserve this. Well done today and commiserations to North Melbourne and uh, we'll celebrate tonight. Thank you. Down you, Greg. Down, down to the left. OK, we're going to ask the victorious demons, I don't know whether the coach will be in this, to do a lap of honour. Come on, fellas, off you go. A bit slow out of the blocks, aren't they? Go on, take, take full advantage of it, fellas. photographers let's go a lap of honor by the premiers in the victorian state football league melbourne the demons let's hear it for them A mixture of experience there with youth, some of them just schoolboys and some of them, as Darren Bennett suggested, maybe at the end of their careers. We don't know what's going to happen with people like uh, Greg Healy and Andy Goodwin, uh, Michael Pickering and a few of the uh, older players, but some real young faces in there and some a foundation on which to build for the Demons. And I'm sure that uh, Neil Baum will have been very interested in that performance. Perhaps not their greatest performance of the year on grand final day. Certainly it was in the first quarter, but in the last three quarters they actually let the opposition come back at them a bit. But, uh, well, they beat North Melbourne in all four meetings during the year and were clearly the superior team, minor premiers, and they've gone on, as expected, to win the premiership. And I wonder whether that will happen in the seniors, because in the seniors... Essendon minor premiers, but then they went on to uh, lose in the finals and had to come back through the preliminary. So it's a different set of circumstances, really. But, uh, well, to make the double of minor premiers and then go on to win the premiership, that's the way you'd like to do it. And so often in the past, the Demons have been there, and on grand final day, high hopes held for them, but they let their supporters down, losing their last three grand finals in a row, but they've turned that around today. And what a scene that is for all traditional Melbourne supporters, supporters of the Melbourne Football Club. The smokers stand there and their lap is about to bring them in front of the Melbourne members here at the MCG. Last time the seniors were in a grand final, it was 1988. 
and they lost by a record margin to Hawthorne that year by 96 points. So is this the foundation on which Melbourne can build for a seniors grand final appearance sometime in the near future? With the likes of uh, Gary Lyon, Jim Steins and the seniors, Phoebe brothers, they really have uh, some sort of a basis there. And they were terrific today in season 1993 in the reserves. I just wonder what you do when you've won a reserves premiership. I don't know that they'd be too bothered about Carlton or Essendon and the seniors. They might be out of here and uh, celebrating somewhere else before Carlton and Essendon do their battle later on this afternoon.